Hi, this is Jamie Ditsworth with Inventor Topics. Today I am going to show you two ways to use the assemble command in Inventor The first way is the more traditional way where you insert your parts and then constrain after you get them into your assembly. Just like using the standard constraints except you don't have to change which constraint type you want. It just automatically knows based on what you pick. In this case, we are just picking the cylindrical edge, and it knows that you want to do what we, what you want to do, and insert constraint. After you place this, you need to finish the command and repeat the procedure. The second way is kind of the way I've been doing it lately. Go and place your part, and instead of finishing your place component, select your, select your cylindrical edge on both parts and it is placed. Then you can either place component again, or finish and select another part. I hope you find this tip useful and you can see other news and tips and tricks on inventortopics.blogspot.com. Thank you.